Hey folks, this is IOether and we're back. So we're doing another one of these videos. So we're basically going to kick off from where we were last time. Except this time you can see me talking with my hands. Because I do that a lot even when I'm not actually on camera. Uh, so we're just going to jump in. And we started talking a bit about the fight scenes uh, in this game earlier. Except we went through all the other stuff. So if you want to know about the wide world, then go back and see my other video. In this one though, we're going to just jump into the fight scenes. And I'm going to be a bit more tactical about it. I can't do the fight scene as quiet and as, as um, you know, slow as I would normally do it. Because, of course, we only got a couple minutes to get this done. So let's just jump over. Um, so as you can see, you put, put uh, names in as characters. I can change up the characters any way we want them. If we, you and me, decide that we want the character to be named whatever, that's what the character is going to be named. Um, and so yeah, I try and make sure that my fans are included in my stuff. Makes everybody feel a bit more involved. Um, but of course the game is about combat, so let's get into the combat. Of course, these guys are a little bit tougher than I would normally take on, and I would like to kill this guy first, as of course he's going to be trying to kill my guys, and my guys aren't nearly as well equipped as his guys are. So we're going to try to have to play this a little bit carefully. Um, that being said, we're also going to do it fast. So we're going to jump in and we're going to try and take out some, some of the more dangerous guys first. I'm going to put him on spear guard. Which is what I should have done with the other guy, but I didn't because I wasn't really thinking it through. That's what happened. So we're just going to... Uh, you have abilities. These abilities all cost action points. Everybody has a certain amount of action points per turn. Um, nine to be exact. Moving costs generally two action points. Uh, unless the square you're moving to is above where you are now or below. In which case it costs more. And of course depending on what terrain it might cost more or less as well. Everybody's got a basic to hit ratio. So this guy is going to jump over here. And he has a 69% chance to hit this guy. It is less than that in actuality. The fact that he's using a spear gives him plus 20% chance. Um, and the fact that it's surrounded by enemies or allies means that uh, we actually have a much better chance to hit this guy than we would otherwise. He, of course, has a big shield, which reduces our chance to hit. And um, he has stats, which reduce our chance to hit. So we're just going to kind of be aggressive. I'm unlikely to win this fight. But that's not what this demo is about. This demo is about this game and what happens in it. And so I'm just going to share as much of that as I can. We're going to jump on here and get into this fight with my character. Um, and we're going to go ahead and wail on the guy that's got the best chance to hit everybody else is like 40 45 we want to go with the 63 because better odds are always better right and really fair fights are for suckers i try not to take fair fights in any game unfortunately though i have done really dumb and i've actually stuck my archer uh in melee combat so that we're gonna get to see what that does next turn because they're bad guys they get to go first is how that always seems to work out uh, he's actually jumping back here because he's on higher train. He actually gets a bonus uh, chance to hit our guys. So even though he's really far away, he's negating that by the fact that he's on higher terrain. Um, this is fairly early on in the game. That's why my guys are really bad at this whole thing. Um, I'm going to try and move him away. He's probably not going to get away, but we're going to try. Ooh, he got away. That's going to help a lot. 10% um, chance to hit. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're uh, not going to take that actually. We're going to move him over here. And he's going to fire past some friends and still have a 10% chance to hit. Or a 23 back here, so we'll take that one. Um, we're going to raise his shield up so that he has less likelihood of getting hit. Right, because he's got a shield. And uh, we're going to try and bop this guy again. We did, in fact, hit him. So everybody's got two bars of armor. You'll see a top bar, which on Lothar is 50, and a bottom bar, which is 80. 
and then they have the red health bar. The top two bars are their armor. So the top one is what helmet armor you have, and the bottom is what helmet armor or what body armor you have. And um, that is actually whatever gear you see on the character is actually what gear is on the character. There isn't any filler um, art in this. Every bit of art corresponds directly to a piece of gear, which is awesome for anybody who likes that sort of thing. We're going to go ahead and end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I didn't get into any of the good stuff, but that's okay. You'll pop back for the next video, and we'll get into some more stuff then. I'll see you until then. <laughs> Have a great day. This IOE throughout.